Welcome to Patrick's 53 on the road today. Beautiful sunny Django in June, drinking Gevry Premier Cru of Domaine Joblo. Très bien indeed. <laughs> it's very good indeed, for sure. <laughs> All right. Very spe special time for me here today because I'm doing my 100th interview with one of the best bassists in the world. Too much honor. No, 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 no. <laughs> This guy played with some of my favorite musicians like Fapi Lafartin, Tim Cliphouse, yes. back in the days. Tell, tell us about that time or that... Well, it's been, I think, must have been around the early 80s that I got introduced to Fapi. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just in a, he was looking for uh, a change. He was playing with Oiseau, yeah. you know, with Kuhn and yeah. uh, Fivi. 83, and I think. Yeah, something 83. like that. Yeah. So around about that time, uh, he was starting to try to, I think he's still playing with Wazo, but he just wanted to have a new sound yeah. and a little more freedom because yeah. he was not happy with his rhythm section. As you get, if you play a long time with people, you yeah. just want to. And uh, so I got introduced uh, to him with a friend and actually we, we had an instant liking and uh, he liked what I was doing. I was in awe of his, nice play. I yeah. mean, come on. So he learned me, he taught me so much about the music that I hardly knew actually. You know, I've heard my dad used to play me records of uh, Django Reinhardt, so I was aware of the music, but I was never really uh, paid attention to what the specific role of a mm -hmm. bass player would be in that kind of genre. Mm -hmm. So he, you know, along the way he sort of gave me so much great information about uh, yeah. How I was supposed yeah, to yeah. sound. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's really the years. That's yeah, oh yeah. Sure. So uh, and yeah. and also like I know, suddenly you start to realize the difference between uh, rhythm guitar players, how good they can be, or how horrible they can be, <laughs> and how some marriages between bass players and rhythm players can be lethal. You know, they just are not a good combination. Uh, Fappi always would make sure we have a good combination of rhythm players. So I played with uh, Flip Kreinbrink and Jan de Jong. And of course, the guys you know, the Pigal boys, the René. Ah, oh, René Vuet. 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 And, uh, uh, and Jan, uh, Jan Brouwer. Jan, yeah. And uh, later with uh, Martin Limberger. Because uh, you did all the CD, like uh, two like 99, 2000, like all those CD, like... Uh, I, I did. Because there was not much CD for a while. Yeah. After a while, so there was not much recording. No, we made a, we made a album for, uh, with the two Dutch singers. <laughs> it was terrible. A club quartet? As a quartet. Yeah, yeah and, I remember and, uh, that. And, uh, it's an LP, I think. It's an LP. And... Uh, he was not really happy with it, though we had fun recording it because it was actually one of the first things we did. And uh, Fappi was sort of disappointed about the financial situation <laughs> after it, so he didn't want to work with that guy anymore. So and I don't think Fappi can fake to be happy. Yeah? No, no, he really <laughs> needs to be happy, and then he's yeah. really happy, and there's it's all great. So yeah, yeah. but we played a lot, and I, I, you know. Did you tour with him in England? Is, is that no. at that time? No. Well, we did do some tours with Tim, and I did tour England with uh, Jimmy Rosenberg, and I did tour England with John Jorgensen, and I did tour England with Pigal. Yeah, Pigal 44. But uh, there was a time in between, and it also had to do that I did on the side. I, I love playing gypsy jazz, but I also had a family, and so I was playing. Um, in Holland with staying closer from home and yeah and, and also I was uh, you know I, I played different styles of music because uh, you know I, they pay me more money to do it. <laughs> so yeah, that we was love uh, gypsy jazz but <laughs> well sometimes you have to make choices so I, I was I had a very long uh, a musical relationship with a singer called Matilda something and I played with her all over the world and you know well things happen and they we just you know, broke up somehow. But before that, sometimes I was not available to do things with Fuppy. So he also moved on, and, and there were guys in England. He was really, he still probably is very popular in England. You know, mm. he's, he's well known and, and well loved. And uh, so they would just bring him over as a solo artist, and then they would uh, provide, for provide the a rim section around yeah. him. And uh, 
you know, he was, uh, and then they made a couple of records as well, and that sort of generated more work. So there was a period in England that he played a lot, but not with me, which was, of course, mm. just how it was. Yeah. <laughs> and was the latest recording you did with him? Uh, gee, I wish I knew which one that was. Uh, probably Fine and Dandy. Fine and Dandy. Tim Tim Klepaus yeah. was on that one yeah. too. I think that was yeah. the last one. I know I never made it to the photo session because <laughs> I had another job to do. Uh, so there's another guy in the picture. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was just how it was. I also show that Fappy the uh, live in uh, Gringo in 1979 when they flipped the picture. Oh yeah, he was very happy with that <laughs> one. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Talking about the family, uh, how many uh, how many kids? I have, have three kids, uh, two daughters and a son. Oh, yeah. And I understand you met the yes. oldest one, yes, Marguerite. Ma Marguerite, <laughs> yeah. beautiful artist. Uh, she did fan uh, Zazi, yeah. fantastic show in Django Fest last year. And, uh, yeah, and they will be back. Yes, yes, yeah. and uh, but uh, I'm really happy to say that they they're. Uh, recording an album and uh, yeah. my during my last visit in Holland I got the chance to uh, play a little bit on their album so oh, seriously I mean, yeah I wow, did I did cool. I cut two songs uh, some waltz or six eight and a kind of bluesy song nice and when is the CD out uh, well supposedly if they come to uh, Django Fest in September they would they should have it with them nice because last year so many I, I saw it so many people co going to them Isn't that cute the daughter is a yeah. CD selling a record yeah. thing or whatever. Yeah. No, very that's, nice. That's yeah, I'm very proud. That's uh, but I mean, talented, multi-talented. Yeah. Those girls are just yeah, yeah, nice, yeah. nice trio. Yeah, good looking. Yeah. Doesn't help. As as tall as the the dad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks very much, Simon, for your it time. It was a pleasure. This wine was. And what beautiful. a nice idea to combine this beautiful music with yeah. a great glass of wine. Like I always say, keep drinking good wine, like the one of Joblo Givry, and keep listening, <laughs> keep playing that beautiful music of Django Reinhardt. Allez, à votre santé. À votre santé.